Hey, Todd Wilson with HowToMakeAFanPage.com. Thanks for stopping in again. I um, wanted to make a quick video on FileZilla. I did use FileZilla in the first tutorial, and I've got a little feedback from people that didn't really know what FileZilla was and how I might, you know, how they can make it work for them. Um, FileZilla simply is a file transfer protocol, open source software that allows you to transfer files back and forth between your computer and your server. And your server is, you know, where your where your website sits. Uh, whether you're using Bluehost or HostGator or GoDaddy or whatever your uh, host account is, is where your uh, website sits, and it just allows you to transfer files back and forth real simply uh, between your your server side and your PC side. Um, so let's get into it real simply. You can go to FileZilla dash project.org and uh, you'll come to this page you're just going to click on this one download FileZilla client and it will uh, do its thing end up on your PC uh, and what your interface is going to look like is this so let's go ahead and get rid of this and we're going to talk about um, how to get from uh, here uh, is your PC side and this is server side so meaning that these are the files that are resting on your computer and these are the files that are on the server and how do you get to the server it's real simple you're gonna uh, have to enter a little information to have it connect with your uh, server side and get to your website this is my uh, main account on my my Bluehost which is my personal blog and then all of my other websites fall up underneath this one that I have on this particular account. And what you do is you just enter the name of the website, so your 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 account uh, website name. No HTTP, it's just the website name, sagaciousnews.com. When you uh, get to this uh, little box here on FileZilla, it defaults with anonymous, so you need to click this to normal. And then your username and the password are going to be what you've set up with your host account. You're probably going to get that in an email once you uh, set up your account. And, and that's where this information goes to. So what you're doing is you're connecting, making a connection here so that uh, FileZilla can get to your cPanel type of information behind the scenes of your website. And... Uh, you know, just start the whole process off. Of course, you're going to hit new site, then you're going to have some blank boxes come in here, and you're going to fill in the data with your particular information. And hit connect. And once you do that, it's if it, everything's right, then you're going to see these files pop up over here on this side. This side will be blank when you start off because there is no connection made. Now, once the connection's made, then it's really simple. Um, uh, What what we're looking at is now the further up into the directory of how to make a fan page, which is the website that I've created underneath the um, the account with the sagaciousnews.com. Okay, so I've just moved myself into where this website is, which is your public HTML, and then you're going to have your website name that you've created with your your host account. And within now this this directory, I have WordPress, which is what I'm building the site off of. So these are the WordPress files, but I have just created a, a new directory to hold those files that I showed you in tutorial one, um, and show you how easy it is to create a directory. Is you just hit create directory. It's going to ask you what the new name is, new directory. Hit OK, and now I have a new directory that I can start to drop different files in if I want to. And if I just click on this directory, double click, boom, now it's empty. And how easy it is to move your files back and forth is you just, on this side, which is PC side, I'm clicking, I'm holding down, and I am dragging over, and I am releasing. And there is the file. Now it now it is on my server side. It's just that simple. Um, if I want to, go. 
I'll have to work on that later and get that off there. But that is how simple it is to transfer files from your PC side to your server side. And that's all I did. Uh, if I want to go back up, you know, up the line of the directory, there it is. And here is the files that I, you know, showed you in tutorial one. Here is my index.html. Here's my images folder, which holds the images that the dot index dot shape, the index.html code is pulling the picture out of that's making the header and that type of stuff. So kind of went over, you saw these same files in the tutorial one of the iframe fan page tutorial that I made. And um, we will proceed from there and give me uh, any feedback on this. If it helps you out, if it answers some questions, if there is anything still confusing, let me know so I can uh, fill in the blanks. And I appreciate you stopping by and look forward to trying to make this as easy as possible for you and building your iframe fan pages and uh, hopefully making you some money. Thanks again, Todd Wilson, howtomakeafanpage.com.